Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, if you're new to the channel, been doing this for a couple months now. Uh, been sports betting for a couple years. You know, I consider myself an amateur sports better. Uh, this is how I make my money, but uh, I use a few different sites, Outlier, Stats and Data, a bunch of different sites. You can kind of see them uh, actually all up here. It's a bunch of different ones, but uh, one of the big ones I use too is Action Network for uh, my lines and stuff like that. Some other info. But uh, I started reusing the bet tracker. I stopped a while ago because they, they used to automatically sync. You'd place your bets on DraftKings or whatever book you used, and it would automatically sync. Then they made it so I guess they had a fallen out, so you got to automatically enter it. But uh, so you enter it all in, blah, 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 and then it keeps track of it. So uh, I'm, I believe everyone who's following me, I mean, now you have the opportunity you can follow me on here as well. So you can actually see, I do do game recaps, but uh, you can actually check it out for yourself as well as I believe you should get one of these for yourself. Uh, get access to the whole site. It's like a few different levels of it, just like every site. But uh, it's like a $20 level, 20 a month, and uh, it gives you access to the bat tracker as well as a bunch of other data. So, uh, if you guys are interested, as well as just to see full transparency of uh, what's going on. This was from our Thursday night game. I've only been doing this for three days now, keeping track of it. But uh, it's definitely pretty cool, as well as any type of business you want to uh, Obviously, keep track of your funds and whatnot. Yeah, so if you want to follow, it's A. Loreno 83, uh, Sportsbook Robbery. Let's get it. You can tell a lot by a game or what's going to happen. Like, say you got big slates, and you can, it'll help you figure out which games to look into. Um, Especially before player props. The player props is always, you can find player props now for every game. So it's good to dissect. But uh, you see, it tells you where they opened at plus one, minus one, over unders on the left here. And then it'll say, it'll have a whole bunch of different books and show you where the lines are at now. And you would look for, for ones that changed, like this Dolphin is minus four and a half, and it's at minus one now. So you'll, be a game you'd want to look into to see why that line changed. There's got to be a reason. The over under went down 10 points. So, online movement is definitely key. It's a little different now with props when you're only betting props. But uh, this is the first thing I always start with see the lines of the game, where they're at. Plus nine and a half went down to plus seven. Uh, that's probably because a few players are out. Uh, on the 49ers. But, uh, yeah, I got a few player props, as always. Let's get into them. Let James cook and everybody eats. Uh, running back at the Bells. My team, guys already know. Uh, receiving yards over 20 and a half. Minus 113. Fandle, I played it on. Uh, the line opened up at 19 and a half, went up, came back down a little bit. Um, playing Houston, a little bit of a storyline to this game. Uh, you guys know about football. Diggs got traded. Well, he got released, basically. And uh, shit, the Bills still covered like 30 mil. So he's a great receiver. I'm sure he's going to have a great game. Uh but they just stopped vibing. So uh, it's the first time they're playing each other. 
So it's definitely a storyline to it. It's going to be crazy. Plus, my Bills are coming off a bad loss. Uh, just a bad game all around. And uh, the Ravens had a great game. But uh, overall, Houston, pretty good. Receiving yards, ranked fifth. It's a running back position, ranked second. So showing good stats against that. I just know they're going to get Cook involved. Uh, the pass game, the run game, it's going to be everything. Um, it's more of a gut feeling play. I mean, he has gone over this two out of four. But uh, he's going to go over it. Stats not looking great. More of a gut feeling and just knowing what the Bills are going to do. Uh, yeah, so let's get it. James Cook receiving yards with 20 and a half. All right, next up, I went with Dalton Schultz. Schultz uh, he's in Texans tight end receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, minus 122 FanDuel. Discrepancies in the books. That's why you need multiple books. Always odd shot, line shot. Uh, Bill's defense already beat up and hurt. Uh, Milano's on the IR. Uh, a couple of different linebackers. Uh, a couple of cornerbacks, <laughs> safeties. Uh, as a Bill's fan, it's, it's heartbreaking. But uh, overall, six in receiving yards. They've been holding them down. They run a lot of zone, too. Uh, I think Schultz is going to be able to find that soft spot in the zone and just settle and get a couple couple catches to go over these yards. Uh, once again, more of a gut feeling play. Just thinking that I, I know it, how they're going to play. Uh, play this one time out of four. But uh, he's getting plenty of receptions, plenty of targets. Three for three the first game, uh, two for three. Caught two out of five versus uh, Minnesota. And then Jacksonville, three out of five. But, uh, yeah, I just think he's going to be able to settle in that zone a couple times. That zone D, the Bills run a lot. Uh, I don't remember the exact percentage, but they run a lot. And... You know, an experienced tight end like Schultz is going to find that soft spot and settle that between the numbers. So uh, as much as I don't like betting on other people to do well against the Bills, he's going to go over this. Don Schultz, receiving yards. Uh, Jets at Minnesota. Minnesota, both good defenses. Uh, Jets still finding their way. Minnesota doing well, too. But uh, should be a good game. Uh, early game, 9.30 a.m., uh, jet lag and everything else. Who knows? Maybe contribute. But uh, one way or another, Rodgers is going to find Lazard. I played his receiving yards over 34 and a half. Uh, opened at 34 and a half, went up, went down, went up. But uh, they do have it, I noticed. I dropped these bets like. Yesterday early, you get a 30 and a half, minus 160, 33 and a half. It's always good to have a site like this. I know they have more expensive sites, but uh, I believe this one's you can pay, pay $20. They have different levels to it, just like I said with the Action Network, but it's like $20 a month, and you can figure out all this stuff. But uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just watch me anyway. But final lowest number. Uh, history with Rodgers. <clears throat> they were on Green Bay together. He's been going over this pretty easily. Getting quite a few receptions and targets. Uh, he's got a couple touchdowns this year. Uh, these are his receptions and targets. Last game, five receptions, eight targets. Minnesota. Overall, receiving yards allowed, 32nd. It's pretty bad. To the wide receiver, ranked 32nd. 
So I look for the receivers that have some catches and get some yards. Leads into my next play. Tight end, Jets, receiving yards over 24 and a half. It was out like 140, I think. I got it at minus 170 now. I did drop him in the community. You guys can get a look at him. Uh, a couple did move up a little, a couple moved down. It's expected, though. Always want to try to beat the closing line. That's the goal. But uh, you can get it at 25 and a half, minus 120. Uh, I believe that still would be good. Minnesota, like I said before, receiving yards ranked 32nd to the tight end. It goes to 24th. Uh, big third down plays. Yeah, it looks crazy once again, right? <laughs> but uh, big third down plays. We were playing as receptions a couple times. But uh, when you break it down, Receptions and targets. First two games, it was non-existence, but then he started finding them. And uh, I looked for him eight times last game, four catches. Uh, and so I got a great defense, uh, run block and stuff like that. Uh, but their receiving is a little weaker. Uh, average yards per reception, 9.7 for the year. Long reception, average long reception, 11.8. Like I said, he's getting uh, averaging four targets, three receptions a game. Eight yards, 816, 24. Put him right at that number, but he's easily capable of breaking out this in one play. Uh, I just believe that. And he's another good veteran player. Settle in that zone or whatever, find that sore spot or if. Rogers tries to uh, has to e escape the pocket, uh, find him right there. But uh, yeah, let's get it. Tyler Conklin receiving yard. All right, next up, I got Cole Komet receiving yards over twenty six and a half. I ended up getting it a little bit higher, but they brought it down a little bit. Uh, definitely line sharp. Uh, it's good anywhere around there. Got Carolina playing Chicago since uh since they benched Bryce Young. Carolina's been a little better, a little more offense. Defense is still mediocre. Fifteenth uh, overall receiving yards to the tight end, ranked nineteenth. But uh, what's his name? Caleb Martin, something like that. You know, the rookie, first number one pick overall draft. Uh, they're starting to build some chemistry with him. As you see, he's went over this last three games. Uh, a lot of receptions, a lot of targets. These couple games. Three for three. Ele uh, Ten for eleven. Five for three. So uh, this goes just like all the other tight end plays or running back check downs. You know, good for uh, third down conversions. Uh, good for zone defense. When they run a zone, these uh, experienced tight ends will settle and uh, go to the soft spot, be, be wide open. That's how they get the big ones, 15 yards, stuff like that, right off the rip. Um, should be able to go over it. They got the chemistry going and their safety blankets. You know, receivers are covered or two-minute drills right before the half, uh, right before the game. Uh, they're trying to move down the field. But, uh, yeah, it should be easy. All right, real quick about Komet, I forgot. Uh, sometimes the computer messes up. It takes me like six times to record one of these. So uh, I end up rushing through it. But got his receptions at two and a half, highly juiced. Basically, if you can read the books, that means he's going to get at least three. Uh, four, they got a big plus money. So they're right. Three is the soft spot. And uh, receive receptions to tight ends. Uh, Carolina's ranked like 26th or something. But uh, on to the next one. I got uh, DeAndre Swift, running back of Chicago, receiving yards over uh, 14 and a half. FanDuel ranked 15th, like before, ranked 18th to the uh, to the running back. 
Cleared this three times. Last game went way over 72. He's been getting uh, plenty of receptions. Seven for seven. 50% this game. Four out of five. But same idea. We keep running away until it stops working. I mean, it says he hasn't gone over it. Five out of six games at home, average of 14.7. But uh, it's at 14 and a half. Should be all right. Let's get it. DeAndre Swift. Used to be on the Eagles, right? On to Vegas at Denver. Now, I'm playing this every week, too. Um, he uh, didn't go over this last week. We got receiving yards over 23 and a half. Once again, I didn't play that. We do it changed. Played 22 and a half. Yeah, so they got a 23 and a half right now. Still doable. Uh, cleared us three times. We cashed it all times except for the rest of the Jets. Uh, it was a rainy day. Low scoring game, obviously. 9 to 10. So uh, you didn't go over it. Two targets, no catches last game. But uh, went over it every time before that. Exceeded 23 and a half, seven of his last eight games, averaging a little over 40. Uh, Vegas overall, 19th receiving yards to the wide receiver position, ranks 17th. But uh, yeah, I expect him to bounce back. The weather's not bad. All right, let's get it, Josh Reynolds. All right, Green Bay and Los Angeles Rams. I went with our uh, longest reception over 18 and a half. Uh, we got on DraftKings. Minus 120. Uh, Clay this three out of four. Go back to last year. So he does, catches them long balls. Uh, receptions, targets, couple of game. Average yards per reception is the reason why I chose our longest reception. Average yard per reception for the year, 21.8. Uh, they pass 60% of the time. So, you uh, should be able to take care of it. I'm not worried. Averaging about 40 yards, 30 some high 30s, 39 and a half. They got his uh, receiving yards at what, 37 and a half? I mean, so you can try that if you want. He's gone under it a few times. I just know that he catches, he gets down the field, that's what he does, so uh, that's why I went with the longest reception. All right. All right, next up, you know, there's a lot of plays, right? I, I cut them in half, too. I went through every game. If you think about it, it's only one or two, maybe, per game. Um, bet responsibly. Uh, Green Bay at L.A., same game. I went with Tucker Craft, uh, tight end for Green Bay. Reception, uh, longest reception over 16 and a half. Same idea. Fandle, minus 118. He's cleared this every time this year. Uh, moral of the story, I've been talking about it all day. Um, this is receiving yards. Receptions and targets, nine, six receptions, nine targets, two and three, two and two, three and two. Average yards per reception, a little over 10. Yards after catch, he does real well with. But um, 
Yeah, same thing like I've been saying. I hit these guys at those certain times of the game, as well as that when they run that zone defense, they target them. And uh, they run out there, get in that soft spot, and uh, it gets open. And he's good at yards after the catch, as they say, yaks. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. This video's getting long. All right, before I get into this next game, if you could like the video, new viewers, uh, if this works out for you and it's helpful, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's turn the notifications on. So you get all my plays, uh, my live bets, anything I do, I try to keep it as transparent as possible. Uh, in the beginning of the video, it's the first time I started that bet tracker. You guys can follow that too. Uh, I advise you guys to get something like that, or at least definitely keep track of your bets. But uh, also, if you could leave a comment, uh, likes and comments, help get the videos out there, as well as some feedback and interaction. Uh, you know, appreciate everyone. Let's keep it moving. Long video, big slate. Uh, Jazeski, tight end, receiving yards over 23 and a half. I sound crazy. I keep saying the same shit over and over. He's on the Bengals. Uh, Burrow was hitting him. Last game, he did horrible. Minus nine. So uh, it was a, it's a buy low situation. Uh, I ended up playing it at 24 and a half. The line went down. You might even be able to get it at 22 and a half, that says right now. I'm certain books. But uh, I noticed that I seen him one game they were playing, and he hit him a bunch of times. He kept hitting him. I guess it depends who you're playing, right? But, uh, yeah, I guess it was this game. Nine nine attempts, seven receptions. And then uh, he got five and four. And I don't really know what happened this game. Maybe they drew more attention to him because of the games before, or they just got with him. I don't know. But uh, receiving yards, playing Baltimore. Receiving yards overall, ranked 30th to the tight end position, ranked 31st. So, uh, it's not too good. Um, it's going to be a good game. Let's see what happens. Uh, when the Bills played, even though we got destroyed, the tight end was able to get some yards, break off some good catches. So, uh, 23 and a half is a little too too low. It's a buy low situation. He's our uh, second in targets on the team. So uh, let's get right into the next play. Gotta go quick. Zach Moss receiving yards over 13 and a half. He's running back, Cincinnati. Minus 113, FanDuel. It's number. Uh, this number's gone up, actually, since I played it. Or maybe it went down. I don't know, but it's 13 and a half. You can get it right now, it's saying. Uh, Baltimore overall receiving 30th, running back position 23rd. It's clear this three out of four games. You know, a method of my madness, like I've been saying all day, check downs, uh, third down conversions, plays get broken up. Uh, he's exceeded 14 and a half, four of his last five games at home, averaging 18. Uh, four receptions, four targets, six reception, uh, six and five, one and one, two and four. Longest reception, he's clearing this number. Doing it basically in one. But uh, I'm going to jump right into the other plays. I can only record so long and won't hold it. The wide receiver, uh, Isavalis. I don't know how to say that. Receiving yards over 23 and a half. Uh, you can look for his anytime TD too. Uh, Fandle. Let's play this three out of four. Longest reception, 29, 16. 
First game, six and three, four and two, seven and five, one and one. Uh, they definitely look for him in the red zone. He's got a couple TDs. Um, one game he had two touchdowns. If they, he's like he's a third receiver basically. You know, if they if they're uh, putting a lot of focus on uh, Higgins and. Uh, Drawing a blank. Uh, Hill? Uh, not Hill. Uh, Chase. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying they leave him open, but he's a third receiver, and with the attention that them two draw, it gives him opportunities. And then last up. I went with uh, Justice Hill. Second running back for Baltimore. I added his rushing and receiving yards. Uh, 38 and a half. Yeah, and this number went down too. He had 35 and a half on BetMGM. 36 and a half on FanDuel. Uh, you know, he's, he's quick, he's elusive, um, he gets in there, but he also can catch. I mean, he busted out quite a few reception yards, versus the Bills. I keep hating myself or keep saying that. But uh, 33 and 21, 22 and 10, 52 receiving yards. So it varies, and but he also gets some rushing yards, so that's why I added the two together. They do have, uh, I mean, you could play them separate, Got receiving yards are like 18. Yeah, it's 18. His rushing yards, 15 and a half plus money. So I added together, it's less than that number anyway. And uh, they utilize him doing both things. So that's why I put it together. All right, like I said, if you could like the video, uh, look out for the TD parlays and everything else. It'll still be coming out. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll drop them in the community. And uh, let's get that money. Get some money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs>